so I'll be teaching their graduate uh, statistics series. So uh, this is the first time that I'll be teaching graduate classes. So there's a little bit of a difference teaching undergrad and graduate classes. And I'm, I'm interested in kind of learning what teaching strategies work better at the graduate level. So that whole learning experience, I think, uh, will be really beneficial for me, as well as learning from their faculty as well. So it's a different department. I've been at UCR for the past seven years, um, so getting a different perspective uh, by joining a different department, um, I think it will be really beneficial. And also their student body is very different from UCR. I think having that diverse experience, again, will make me a better teacher as well. So my main research interests are immigration policy and how that's changed over time and what that means for uh, integration outcomes for immigrants, as well as like other areas such as intermarriage um, and income inequality. I've been fortunate to work with a lot of, uh, at that time, junior scholars who really showed me how to do research and how to frame papers. And so that learning experience really helped me um, in, in the framing of my papers as well. And then finally, for me also, it's uh, writing and, and publishing is, is a real social kind of activity. Um, I always tell my students learning is a social activity. Um, so working with other graduate students, I think, really pushed me uh, to publish as much as I could in, in graduate school. Again, so working with other graduate students uh, really helped me in terms of, so when you think of immigration, there's a lot of different dimensions to that. Um, some areas I'm less familiar with, and so having those conversations with faculty members where that area is more their specialization, um, and then working together to kind of create a, a very more comprehensive study was something that I think I benefited uh, with, with doing collaborative work.